That game of parliamentary ping-pong is happening once again. Yes, the House of Commons and the House of Lords voting. The next big vote, I believe, in the House of Lords at 10 o'clock this evening. Uh, and the House of Commons will then vote two hours later. Will the peers back down? Will they do, as the elected House by a very clear majority wants? Well, that remains to be seen. Uh, those of you that watch this show regularly will know, I did pretty much predict the House of Lords would make this as difficult as they possibly could. So nothing on that is very surprising. But I'll tell you what was surprising. And that was the speech today by Rishi Sunak, standing behind the lectern with stop the boats on it. And bear in mind, it's now more than two years since Boris Johnson went to Lyd Airport in Kent and unveiled the Rwanda plan. So far, we've spent over 150 million quid and not a single person has gone. But just have a listen to what Rishi Sunak said this morning and to his tone. I can confirm that we've put an airfield on standby, booked commercial charter planes for specific slots, and we have 500 highly trained individuals ready to escort illegal migrants all the way to Rwanda, with 300 more trained in the coming weeks. This is one of the most complex operational endeavours the Home Office has carried out. But we are ready. Plans are in place. And these flights will go come what may. No foreign court will stop us from getting flights off. Did you hear that? No foreign court will stop us from getting these flights off, as indeed the European Court of Human Rights in Strasbourg did last time round. Now, that is a very bold statement for a British Prime Minister to make. He's basically saying, whatever is said by that court in Strasbourg, we are simply going to ignore it. But he knows that half his own party, certainly half his own MPs, would be appalled by that because they think the European Court of Human Rights is a good thing. What he didn't tell you is even if we were to ignore the European Court of Human Rights, which I believe to be very, very unlikely indeed, we'd still have something called the Human Rights Act of 1998, which incorporated the very convention that is used by that court in Strasbourg into British law, which would be used by British judges. This idea that those planes are going to Rwanda in 10 to 12 weeks' time, come what may. Folks, believe me, it isn't going to happen. And I've been right about this consistently for the last four years. Sorry to sound a bit big-headed, but literally, I have been right about this. I've predicted the crisis. I've said all the way through Rwanda wouldn't work. And because of that, I've rather changed my view today on something quite significant. If you'd asked me first thing this morning before that speech whether there would be a summer general election, not an autumn general election, I'd have said, well, I reckon it's two-thirds on it being an autumn election a third on it being a summer election. I have now shifted my view today, particularly given the words that Sunak used, no foreign court will stop these planes from leaving. I would now say it's two-thirds likely that we're going to have a general election at the end of June or early July. However, well or badly, the Conservatives may do in the elections coming up next week on the 2nd of May. And bear in mind, we've got some big mayoral elections. We've got London, we've got the West Midlands, uh, and indeed we've got uh, you know, Tees Valley as well, which is pretty big stuff uh, for both parties, frankly. Now, the reason I think there's going to be an early election is because you can't keep upping the ante on stopping the boats and sending people to Rwanda and keep failing. He must know. His advisers must know that all the while the Human Rights Act is there in law, there'll be lawyers on behalf of people who are going to be deported, who will go to the courts and British judges will find in their favour and not allow them to go to Rwanda. So rather than wait for what is seen to be his flagship policy to, dis to disintegrate, he'll call a general election before it, making promises that he can't deliver. That's my thought. You tell me. Will there be an early election? Farage at gbnews.com.